All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this little thing. It's so tiny. As Will Prowse. So usually I like to review things because I can tell you how bad they are, but this product's actually really good. And I did a load test. I did a charge efficiency test and all sorts of other things. And I wouldn't classify it as a solar generator. It's a small battery that you can power with a solar panel, but it takes 10 hours to recharge if you do it with that method. The only big downside with this is the charge time, which takes about seven hours. But besides that, it's a really cool little unit. Unit. And so you have the little input that you charge it with right here and then you have USB and then you have a 200 watt pure sine wave inverter and then you have a little cigarette lighter adapter that you can plug stuff into right here and then you have the display and then you turn on the 12 volts by pressing that button, you turn on the inverter by pressing that button, you turn on USB and then when you plug in the input this light will illuminate telling you that you actually have power and then it will tell you how many watts are going in how many watts are going out. It even shows the wattage for the inverter idle. And then we also have cooling fan air intake. And then you can see the fan on that side. I thought I was going to hate it and I was going to find something that I disliked about it instantly and I could share it with the world. Yeah, so far I've been testing it like crazy and I really like it. So I can't wait to show you guys these results. That so this is the DC charging cable. I snipped it and I'm going to add my little XT60 connector. So then I can check how many amps and watts is going through this system while it's charging. So right now it's charging and it's using about 3.26 amps to charge and it says 42 watts right here. So at this rate, it should take 5.7 hours to charge this whole battery if it's at completely zero. Now a big question you guys might have is, can I use this battery while it's charging? And the answer is yes, but it's not going to charge as fast. And I just plugged in my phone right now with USB-C and it dropped from 42 watts to 32 watts, but you can still use it. I'm charging for about 30 minutes now and I have to say that the charge rate for this unit is pretty bad. It's very similar to the Goal Zeros. I mean look at this, 3 amps at 12 volts. It should be 10 amps minimum. All right, so that means that if it was 10 amps, we could charge this in under two hours, but it's going to take seven hours, whether you're plugged into your car or you're plugged in with the AC adapter, it doesn't matter. It's going to take a whole seven hours to charge this thing. And if you use the solar panel, it'd take 10 hours. I just don't see how it's usable. And also the 18650 lithium cells that they're probably using can probably handle a higher charge rate. So I don't understand why these things charge so slowly. I must admit these new connectors that I got with the heat shrink oh absolutely incredible perfect crimp connection so in order to test the charge efficiency of this battery we are going to first discharge the battery down to zero so I connected up a bunch of random appliances we're gonna wait till the battery capacity drops to zero and then I'm gonna plug in my input cable and we're gonna test how many watt hours it takes to charge this thing up all right guys we have it to one percent so now I'm going to use this device and it's gonna tell me how many watt hours it takes to charge it back up to 100. Hey guys, the time is 1.22 a.m. and this thing is finally charged. It took 260 watt hours, which means the charging efficiency is pretty good to make it to 100%. And you guys can see it right there, 100%. Number two, we are going to test the discharge capabilities. So we're doing 12 volts and I'm gonna take 140 amp hours from the battery with this heater blanket and with this light and then for the second half of the test we're going to run a fan that's 100 watts exactly for about one hour and if it can pull it off then we know it's the rate of capacity that's advertised if it can't then we'll know so yeah 140 watt hours now we just calculated 140 watt hours of consumption and so it should be at 41 percent but it's at 35%, so there are some losses. Now it's time to plug in the AC receptacle appliance and see if it can last for an hour. If it lasts for an hour, this thing is spec'd correctly. If I'm running this light, this light, this camera, my Google Home Mini, and we are at 100 watts exactly. 102, 100, it might dip down, it might go up a little, but it's around 100. So if it can power this load for an hour, we are set, so let's see what happens. All right guys, it is about to die. It is at 1%. We've been pulling 97 to 102 watts for 42 minutes and we will calculate the discharge efficiency in just a second. Okay, the final 1% lasts for like five minutes. Look at this, we're almost hitting 50 minutes. 
and it's been at 1% since like 43 minutes, I believe. All right, guys, it just shut itself off at 53 minutes. That is really good. It almost delivered the full 240 watt hours. So let's calculate that real quick. So for a 240 watt hour battery, it delivered 228 watt hours. That is incredible. And I understand that there are some efficiency losses with the inverter, but it shows it on the watt meter. That's actually really good. I'm pretty darn impressed at that. So this thing's really tiny, you know, and it's not going to be for everybody, but if you just need to do weekend stuff or road trips and you need some more power, this is actually a pretty good option. I totally dig it. And you can charge it with your car, AC outlet, whatever. I do not like the charge time. It's ridiculous and they need to fix that, but everything else is high quality and works as advertised. And yeah, I didn't see anything that didn't work as advertised and it's really strong and sturdy and this is my plan to use. I'm going to use it to power my little soldering iron and I can't wait because I hate running extension cords when all I need is 60 watts anywhere like on the roof of this RV when I'm doing solar power stuff. So yeah, I love it. I hope you guys too. There's going to be a link below. This is affiliated. They sent this out to me for free. But yeah, it was a pleasant surprise. I actually really like it. So I think some of you guys might like it too. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.